Masking a capture one doesn't have to be complicated. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can mask your subjects in capture one and also how you can mask your background in capture one so you can make adjustments separately when using capture one. So let's jump into capture one and show you how you can do that right now. The first thing you have to do when you capture one, obviously select the image which you want to mask and decide if you want to mask the background or the subject. So for this particular image right now, I decide I want to mask out the background first and work on the background. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. The first thing you have to do, so just come to your adjustments right here. Click on your layer right here. Once you click on your layer, just click on this plus icon right here. It's going to add new adjustment layer for you. So just click on your brush tool right here. So this is your brush tool. Just click on it. And what you have to do right now, let me just zoom in a little bit. Just make a rough selection around the subject. I'm going to make a rough selection around the subject like this. And if you can't see your mask, just press M on your keyboard to reveal your mask. So I'm going to make a rough selection around the edges of my subjects like this. I'm just going to make a rough selection like this. Your selection doesn't have to be accurate in Capture One because obviously you can't get an accurate selection in Capture One except you want to spend hours doing it. So after making a rough selection of the edges like this, all you have to do is come to your adjustment layer, right click right here, and just click on Fill Mask. And Capture One is going to fill the mask for you. Now the next thing you are going to do just right click on this adjustment layer again and just click on refine mask so once you click on refine mask you are going to see this menu right here just increase the radius for me i prefer using 70 radius and just click on ok like this so once you apply it you can see the edges of this image right now they are a little bit smoother compared to the way it was before they are looking smoother right now and almost accurate so after making a selection of the subjects, remember I told you guys from the beginning that my goal for this selection is to work on the background and not the subject. So after selecting the subject, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to my adjustment layer again. I'm going to right click. So once I right click, I'm going to invert this mask. So once I invert this mask, automatically I've selected the background. So you can see those parts are red are the parts are selected. And right now the background are selected. But if I zoom in, you can see some parts of the hair are selected which i don't really like so i'm just going to remove those parts so to remove those parts i'll just come to my eraser tool so this is my eraser tool right here i'm going to click on it and just erase it from that part which i don't want but as you can see right now the edges are too hard so i'm just going to soften out those edges so i'm going to right click like this and just bring down the hardness like this all the way down like this I think 10% and I'm going to click on enter and just soft remove those edges from the hair. You can see how soft the brushes look right now. So I'm going to remove them from the edges of the subject we Anywhere I really don't want it to be, I'm just going to remove it like that. Okay, now you can see we have um, close to the perfect masking. So right now any adjustment I make is going to affect only the background. So I'm going to press M on my keyboard again to hide that mask. Unless I want to make the background a little bit darker, which I enjoy doing by the way, I'll just come to my adjustment layer right here and just scroll all the way down for my look for my exposure tab. So once I find my exposure tab, I'm just going to bring the brightness all the way down like this. You can see it's affecting the background and it's not affecting the subject. It's affecting only the background. So I take it up to make it bright. I take it down to make it a little bit darker like that. If I want to make this background a little bit warmer, I'll just come to my white balance and just push my Kelvin to the warm side. And it's going to make the background a little bit warmer. Now let's say I want to add colors to the background. What I can do is just come to my color, color balance right here. So once I click on my color balance, I'll just come to my master. So once I'm my master, I'm just going to add any colors I want to the background. And it's going to affect only the background. It's not going to affect the subject because I've already mastered the subject out of this image like this. So you can see it's affecting only the background. So that's how you can actually mask out your background in Capture One. And if you want to mask out the subject, you can choose to invert your layer again. But if you want to mask out both subject and background and make different adjustments to the subject and the background, what you have to do is create another adjustment layer. So once you create another adjustment layer, all you have to do is mask out the subject again. So I'm going to create another mask and just mask out the subject again like that. Press M on my keyboard and just pick my brush tool and just mask out the subject 
again and just to mask out it so we the same thing like this for the first one i'm just going to do it again just that this time i'm not going to invert it i'm just going to leave it on the subject because right now i want the subject to be selected and the paragraph to be selected as well so that's why i'm going to have two selection so after doing the rough work of the selection i'm just going to come to the adjustment layer click on fill mask let's go to fill the mask next i'm going to do right click again click on refine mask after i refine the mask i'm going to click on apply it's going to apply to the subject now any adjustment i make is just going to affect only the subject so press m my keyboard again to hide the mask so once i hide the mask i can just um let's say make it a little bit brighter i just move it a little bit brighter so you can see it's affecting only the subject and if i want to work on the background i can just click on this layer right here and just decrease the brightness is going to affect the background and what you can do you can actually rename your layer so i'm going to rename this layer background and double click on this upper layer and rename it subject like that so these are before these are after what you can do you can choose to reduce the opacity so if i choose to reduce the opacity of my subject layer like this and i can choose to come out to my background and reduce the opacity of my background layer like this so basically that's how you mask in capture one so I did a video comparing Lightroom masking to Capture One masking. To watch that, click on the video showing your screen right now. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.